Right guys, <clears throat> how are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm currently trying to wake up. It is 6 oh something. No, it's 6.12. November the 16th, guys. I set out on this mission to finish this series. By the time my birthday rolled around, my 30th birthday, that's on the 27th of this month. That means I've got, well, I've got 10 more days. And we're at number 82. His name is Ryan Ramsik, or Ramshik. Sounds Polish, or Russian. He's an offensive lineman for the Saints. He's number 82 on the list. Hasn't actually been that many views of this player. Um, whenever there's a, one of these videos that's, you know, got less than 200,000 views, I think, why? Why is that? It's either because of the team, we're looking at the Saints, I think the Saints have got a massive fan, fan base, or it's because of the position. Offensive lineman. The big boppers. The rumbling, bumbling, stumbling offensive linemen that never get appreciated. Guys, it's time to crack back into the list. Um, look, I don't know how today's going to go, honestly. I'm feeling... Um, whew, yep, I'm getting those feelings again. Those overwhelming feelings of the fact that I've got 82 more videos to go. But the, 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 the real fact is, the real fact, okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys now, is that... If I don't press play right now, this may not happen for another two days, which puts me two days back. And that's two crucial days. That's time we just don't have. So with that being said, I welcome you to number 82 on the list. Ryan Ramchick. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends that won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. a very straight path to the NFL. Others enroll at Winona State. Then... Okay, so he's been around... He's been around the traps on his way to the NFL. Madison Area Technical College. Then, Mid-State Technical College. Then, University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. Then, University of Wisconsin Madison. Before becoming a first-round pick and one of the best linemen in the NFL. You are joking. What? One, two, three, four, five schools on his way to becoming a first round pick? Wisconsin Madison, before becoming a first round pick and one of the best linemen in the NFL. I'll say, for me personally, we've got to watch him on film a few times this year is Ryan Ramchek from the Saints. He's Ramchek. Uh, right tackle, he's from Wisconsin. A big well, I've got to say, I love a bit of David Bakhtiari. Times this year is Brian Ramchuk. But I don't know Brian Bulaga. Yeah, there's something about Bakhtiari. There's something about his eyes. And the Saints. Quite he's striking. A right tackle. He's from Wisconsin, a Big Ten guy. I watch a lot of Big Ten football. Being in this state, we get every Badger game. So I remember watching him a lot when he was at Wisconsin. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. I just I just saw um, an incredible uh, sidestep, an incredible juke by the running back. I was certainly not looking at the offensive lineman, but we're going to do this time. Right tackle, he's from Wisconsin, a Big Ten guy. I watch a lot of Big Ten football. Being in this state, we get every Badger game, so I remember watching him a lot when he was at Wisconsin. Seeing him in the NFL, I think he's transitioned really well. Hmm. Okay. Most likely he hasn't been in the league too long. Ryan Ramchick. Uh... <laughs> That's gonna test my uh, spelling. Ryan Ramchick, 26 years of age, six foot six. I knew he was big, and he's 142 kilograms, or uh, or 314 pounds. Now, I do want to get my head around this journey that he took to the NFL before we get into the video. So, he went to Stevens Point Area Senior High School in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. He was a first-team All-State selection and was invited to play in the 2012 WFCA All-Star Game in Oshkosh. He turned down a scholarship offer from Pittsburgh's first-year head coach Paul Christ and instead attended a local Wisconsin Division II school, Winona State. What's that about? Leaving Winona State before the football season began, he enrolled first at Madison Area Technical College, then Mid-State Technical College, for one semester each. In 2013, he transferred to the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, where his former high school coach had taken a job on the football staff. 
In what, what was technically his freshman season, Ramzik played in all 10 games and was named second team all Wisconsin Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. The following season, he earned first team honors. So Pittsburgh's first year head coach, Paul Christ, transferred to Wisconsin Madison in 2000 and, 2014. Ramzik reached out to him uh, after first turning down his offer of a scholarship at Pittsburgh and decided to transfer. After setting out the 2015 season due to NCAA transfer rules, he was named the starter at left tackle for 2016. Ramsick was named first team All Big Ten on November 30th, 2016. He received an invitation to the combine, but was only able to perform the bench press due to a hip injury, on which he got 25 reps. Pre-draft visits with multiple teams, including the Giants, Broncos, Texans, and Patriots. He was ranked the top offensive tackle in the draft, and he went pick number 32, the last pick of the first round of the 2017 draft. To the Saints, he made a second team All-Pro in 2018. He made a first team All-Pro last year. So he's been in the league for three years. Well, it's his first time on the list of the top 100 players, and it looks as if he's going from strength to strength. Look, this is a guy who can be patient. This is a guy who can wait for his opportunities. And this is Ryan Ramsick. He was a left tackle in college, moved to right tackle with the Saints, and I think he's just gotten better. He's a guy that plays within himself. You know, he doesn't try to do anything crazy every play or change a lot of things up. I think he's got great feet. That he's number 50 really is position. not getting past Ramsick. I'm sorry to say. See now. I see this guy, he would have been an absolute monster. He would probably would have been the biggest guy on his football team by far. But he comes into an NFL squad, an NFL offensive line. And he's just one of the guys. He is just one of the guys. They're all that big. It's fucking insane. Oh, oh he's got pace too. Having Ryan Ramchek blocking for you is enough to put a smile on a team. Bridgewater? Who the fuck is Bridgewater? In space. Now, he's earned the respect of the entire league with his first top 100 appearance. That hole is wide as a truck. I think oh, mate, really that's stunning. Run. Let me have a look at that again. He's earned the respect of the entire league with his first top 100 appearance. So, first of all, shifting to the left. We've got the tight end coming to the right and a running back or wide receiver, which is going to stuff this channel. And uh, this linebacker is going to come across thinking that the ball's going to go up there, but it's not. The quarterback keeps it. And number 71, Ramshik, does his job, takes up two blockers while he's at it. I think he's a really good run blocker downhill. He gets on three techs or four techs or DNs and he's able to move them out of the way and, and sustain his blocks. That's watch number 71 here, Ryan Ramchick. Watch the block that he gets. <laughs> Fuck, do you know what I just thought? <laughs> Imagine if a player was this big. Imagine if a player was this big, guys. Um, I... <laughs> How tall would you have to be? You'd have to be about nine foot, ten foot tall. I'd say ten foot, five hundred pounds. Probably more. As a team, the Saints averaged four points. See, now that looks to me as if he's holding. No, no, he wasn't. It looked first of all as if he he took his back. And was holding him back. But he was on the side. As a team, the Saints averaged 4.3 yards per carry. But that increased by over a yard to 5.4 yards per carry. On runs on either side of a Ramchek block. Guaranteed, Alvin Kamara loves Ryan Ramchek. I think his hands are really good in pass pro as well. Very independent with them. 
he's not a guy that's gonna just give DMs. He's guys, you know those elbow braces, right? Is that to stop them from hyperextending? Because that is literally like having a bionic arm. I don't know if that's fair. The access What's the deal with those? Ramchick allowed just 20 total pressures on 659 pass snaps in 2019. What? What? That's like 3%. 3%. 3% of snaps there's going to be pressure on the quarterback. 3%. He's obviously got, see, with, with that to be the case, he is, he is standing up as men, right? He's not getting beaten that often, which means he does have, he does have a fair amount of quickness. His most impressive feat may have come in week one. He Touchdown. He J.J. Watt, the first defensive player to be number one on the top 100, off the stat sheet for the first time in Watt's 105 game career. You are kidding. Nice job again, <laughs> Ramchick. He's a guy that wow. I'm enjoying watching on tape because I think he's doing a lot of a lot of good things. Oh my god. Yeah, I agree with that too. Uh, did you just see? Did you did did you just see who's next? It's DK Metcalf, guys. And if there's one player. If there's one reaction on my channel that's doing the best right now, that's bringing in the most new viewers and the most new subscribers, it's DK Metcalf. Alright guys, that was Ryan Ramchick. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, thank God we started because like I said, if I didn't turn the camera on when I did, it may never have happened today. Which puts us back one day further. And we can't have that. Interesting. DK Metcalf comes in at number 81 on the list. This is his first appearance after his first year. And he balled out. I... First came across DK Metcalf at the Combine, but we're going to get into that in the next video. And with that being said, thanks for being here, guys. If you do want to support me, uh, above and beyond a like and a subscribe, which some of you may, some of you might not. I don't get any revenue from the series. This is all done on my own back. This is all done out of passion and um, because I'm having fun. But I do do it for my viewers. And, um, well, if you do want to support, please head over to my Patreon page. Uh, please become a channel member. Or you could also head to www.majorkeyphysiques, which is my brand. It's my business. It's my, my own uh, bodybuilding and fitness business. I've got a massive passion for that, uh, for that sport and for training. So if you love training, definitely head over and check out our products. I'm very proud of them. And we're New Zealand owned and operated. So with all that being said, I'm going to leave you right now and bid you farewell. Peace out.